Hey, so welcome to our quick skill lesson on using a compass for direction. Now, there are two different types of compass that we use in maths. One is for drawing circles, but we're not looking at that one. We're looking at the one we use for direction. Now, unfortunately, I don't have one to show you right now. And I was going to show you the one on my phone, uh, but of course, I'm using my phone to record this. So that wasn't very clever. But if you do go onto the App Store on your, uh, if you do have a mobile device or a tablet, you go into the App Store and you type in free compass. There are actually lots of free compasses without any ads that you can download that don't cost you a penny. Uh, so get one of those on, because it's really interesting to see which way you're, you're facing. Now, I found out that in the room north, it's over there. What on earth am I talking about north? Well, if you think about the globe, uh, you know that we spin on an axis. Now, there is no top and bottom in space, so I'm going to use these words loosely. But the top is the north. This is the north. So you can see that uh, little old Britain there is actually in the north of the earth. Then we get down to this uh, middle line, which is called the equator, and then we have the south at the bottom. Now, this is not just a directional term, so by the way, anything going up would be facing north, anything facing down would be facing south. This is not just general direction, but the earth itself actually has a giant magnet in it. Can you believe that? And you are able to locate wherever you are, whichever way you're directing on the earth, using a compass. Now, on the compass, you'll see these bits of information. Again, I've put north at the top, south at the bottom. We've got two others. We've got east and west. So east, you, you sometimes hear about uh, the eastern world or the far east. East is on this side. West is on this side. So when I'm using my direction, this is my terminology. If I'm facing north in this room, north is over here. So if north is over here, East is going to be a 90 degree turn clockwise, so each of these is a right angle. From our earlier lessons, you'll notice that lines on a compass are perpendicular. They intersect at right angles, or at least the blue lines do. So 90 degrees clockwise would be east, another 90 degrees clockwise would be south, another 90 degrees would be west, and then again we get to north. I got a little bit lost there. So, how are you going to remember north, east, south, west? Well, there's two ways you can decide which one's best for you. You can remember that naughty elephant squirts water. Naughty elephant squirt water. That's one way of doing it. Uh, another way, I always remember it this way, is never eat shredded wheat. Never eat shredded wheat. Now, obviously, you should eat shredded wheat. really good for you. But never eat shredded wheat. Okay, so these are the directions. North, east, south, west. So... What's going on in between? Well, not everything is either there, 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 or there, is it? There are all sorts of angles in between. Now, as you move up at the school, we'll realise that looking at a compass is rather like looking at the, uh, the angle on a protractor. So we can uh, measure this in angles, but we're going to go for this halfway line between north and east. And halfway between north and east is called northeast. Pretty simple, isn't it? So we've got north, northeast east, then we've got southeast, south, southwest, west, and northwest. Notice that north and south always come first, okay, because those are the important ones. It's not called west-south, no, it's called southwest. Okay, this is a little game I would do. First of all, like, get yourself a compass that you can download on one of the app stores and work out in your house where north and east is. You should know where east is. Uh, because if you go to mosque at all, uh, often the mosques are facing east. Um, so that is a, a good way of working out which direction. Um, and what we'd like you to do is, I want you to play a little game. And you're going to stand at north, and then your partner is going to shout out a direction. So if they shout it out south, you would jump oh, straight to the south, which would be in that direction. If they're going to say uh, north east, I would jump oh, Northeast is going to be over in that direction. Or uh, they might say west, and I would go over in that direction. So, plot out where the compass is. You're going to shout instructions, get that person to go in that direction. We're going to be using this knowledge a little bit more when it comes to direction language.